Okay guys, what we are going to do today is I'm going to show you how to use the Trilogy Save Editor, but honestly, I'm going through it for the first time myself. So I figured I'd make a short little video of what we can um, do together. So let's go through this together. And um, hopefully we get it right. So, and I'm doing this with Mass Effect 1 because Mass Effect 3... Uh, you can use the Trilogy Save Editor, but it I'm using a different mod that allows me to change the hair in-game. But with Mass Effect 1, we don't have that, so we have to use the Trilogy Save Editor if we want to change the hair specifically. Now, with Trilogy Save Editor, you can do all sorts of things with it. You can change the bone structure of your character and all that. But honestly, I'm not good with that kind of stuff, and I will most likely mess it up, and then my character won't look like I what like what I want her to look like so we're just gonna deal with the hair <laughs> with the hair when using trilogy save editor you do have to install them into the me3 tweaks mod manager so they are in the me3 tweaks mod manager you put them in there first at least that's what I did <laughs> then you go to the trilogy save editor I only found one tutorial on YouTube on how to do this, so I thought that I would do my own and walk through with you guys because I'm very new to Trilogy Save Editor and I hope that I'm doing this correctly. So what you have to do is you have to download it from your install. By the way, if this comes up, just go under more info. Uh, it took me a minute to understand what was going on, but you go under more info and you just hit run anyway it'll be fine no big deal whatever language you want and then you install it you just basically follow the steps okay just click the end the next step then click the next step then the next step then just keep going and there you go and then you'll be able to open it up and you want to hit the Mass Effect Legendary Edition the Mass Effect one and then you I am going to be looking for my specific save file that I want to use. I am opening up a save file for my third character, Alexi. I haven't really done much with her. Um, not even sure I'm gonna keep her. I just, she's kind of like my guinea pig <laughs> for this. So, uh, I just happened to have her there and, uh, yeah, so I figured I'd use her. And then you go to your mod page and you look for the hair that you want. So let's see. I think I'm going to use the Dakota one for Alexi. So this top line here is for the head morph. You go here under raw, you go to head morph raw. And then this line right here is the one that you want to replace. So we're going to copy. Oh, oh, there we go. OK. All right. So we have that in there. OK. Airdiff. OK. There we go. Texture. We go to the second line under the, the Dakota thing, which is right here. Copy that. And then go here. Okay. All right, so then we go to save. I really hope I don't mess this up. The Alexi 09 save, that's the one I'm using. I am replacing. Okay. Yay, it worked! 
Oh my god, it works! I'm gonna keep this hairstyle for her. I might actually keep her, now that I think about it. <laughs> Yay, we did it! We did it! We gave her nice hair! That's awesome. Yay! We did it! Woohoo! Um, I do have a few other... Let's see, I have Morning's hairstyles, which is what I used. I used Morning's hairstyles. So again, guys, if you want, so, so far, I do have a pretty complete list. Mass Effect 2, I'm still, I, I have mods, but I, I, and I only have one hair mod in that game that actually shows up in the character creator, and I kind of don't want to mess with that one, so. <laughs> There's that. But, um, so right, for right now, my mod list for all three games is absolutely complete. So I will have all of these up on my blog. I will post the link down below if you want to check out the mods for each game. Mass Effect 3 by far has the most mods right now. And uh, again, I can't wait to continue my uh, Let's Play on my main character. I am currently in Mass Effect 3. And uh, hopefully I will see you there. All right, guys. You have a great, wonderful day. And... I'll see you next time. Bye.